ways to identify if you have parasites and how to eliminate them. The first way to tell that you have parasites is if you have insomnia. If you have insomnia, keep in mind that parasites like to stay up and reproduce at night, hence why the person will be up all night and not be able to go to sleep. You, number two, you have an intense craving for sweet sugar all the time. After every meal, when you work, wake up in the morning, you don't want to drink water. All you want to do is feed the parasite. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugar, sugar, you have to have pancakes with a lot of syrup. Then for lunch, you have to have maybe a snack or you call this thing a treat, right? You, in the middle of the night, you get up because you have a craving. You got to go to the gas station to get you some ice cream things like that right number three number three would be tea grinding if you do go to sleep <laughs> throughout your insomnia you grind your teeth you chunking on your teeth making noise because you're grinding you're grinding on the teeth because of the parasites that's a parasitic infection that's when it's really really multiplying at a high level teeth grinding number Four. Number four is your booty hole itching. Mm -hmm. Like you, you probably watching this video right now and pinching your booty cheeks together because the parasites sometimes be right there at the opening or when you in the middle of your sleep, you know, you sleeping at night, your booty itching in your sleep or whatever, it's tingy, tingling. Or maybe even during the day, you just walking and all of a sudden, you just got to scratch your booty hole because the parasites are in there. <laughs> they multiply so much throughout the large and small intestines that they, 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 they just have it a field day all the way from here to the booty hole. This leads to number five. If you have a thick layer of a white coating on your tongue, the tongue is the mirror to your gut. So if your gut has that yeast buildup, parasites are thriving in that, that yeast and bacteria, parasites, or inside of there <laughs> because like think about a trash can for example after it begins to get you know bacteria and, and fungus just growing in a trash can what happens the maggots come the, the the flies come the roaches come the gnats come everything come and all of the parasites are coming so that's five ways that you could tell that you have like some type of parasitic infection wait a minute number six just thought about it after you eat your stomach gets really really swollen almost like bloated like right that's letting you know that you have a parasitic infection going on in there now bloating can be food intolerances too mixing the wrong type of foods you know or inflammation response from the food but if you get in these responses while you're trying to transition over to a healthier diet that's because the parasites want their sugar and you giving them vegetables, even though parasites eat vegetables too. <laughs> but the big protruding belly is an indicator. That's not magnesium in there. That's a host of parasites that need to be eliminated. The next one is gonna be your skin. If you have eczema, rosacea, psoriasis, if you have bumps right here on your arm, like your little heads, like if it's rough right here, yeah, rough right here is letting you know this, that's going to be eggs right there. That rosacea on that face, that's going to be eggs and larvae from them parasites. The uh, eczema on them legs, yeah, that's letting you know there's a host of parasites in here and they're trying to come out or it's so over loaded inside of here that they just want to be inside and out so they'll stick their little heads out to let you know hey i'm in here next one is going to be that you have a nasty ass stink ass attitude mm -hmm. i had said it but just because just think about it if you have parasites you can't sleep at night your booty hole itching and you have inflammation going on in your body Oh yeah, you got a stink ass attitude. You probably don't know it. <laughs> you probably don't know it. You probably think, oh, I'm just being real, like, right? No, but you're moody and stuff. Anybody gonna be moody when they have something that's gnawing at them all day? Taking their life force, trying to become the host, taking all their vital minerals, 
electrolytes. They ain't got no energy, no strength. Yeah, you're going to be moody. Oh, you moody. <laughs> I just thought I'd tell you. And so when you have parasites, you're sick. Just in case you didn't know, you got a sick mind because you are sick. You ever heard people say, oh, that, that, he must have, he got a sick mind. He full of parasites is what that is. I just had to tell you. Because some of y'all on this here page are sick. Some of y'all that's looking at me right now are sick. And y'all have no tolerance for my lives. Just get to the point. When you gonna tell me what foods I need to be eating? Because you sick. <laughs> yeah, okay, this one here. I took a little long on this one because you had needed to know. Mm -hmm, which is thank attitude. Which leads me to the next one. You stink. Now, we even talked about the bowel movement stinking when you're in the bathroom. Yeah, I get it. But your whole existence stink when you don't have them drawers down. You just stink. I mean, think about the trash can. The trash can stinks when there's a lot of bacteria, when there's a lot of trash, old fecal matter and different things up in there. The parasites come. It stinks. Think about that garbage disposal. It stinks. Like, right, when it ain't clean. Like, right? When, it, when things ain't flowing properly, when you're not going to the restroom, you gon' stink. Sorry, Tud, you stink. And even with deodorant on, you still stink. That's why you put on deodorant and perfume and you take a bath and all of this here stuff and you gotta put something. You gotta smell good because you already know you stink. You could take three, four, five, six, seven baths a day all you want, but you still stink because you have parasites, baby. You have parasites. Yeah, you do. You got them. <laughs> Last but not least, your stool. Your stool gonna let you know. It's gonna be like floops. You'll see like um, like sesame seed looking specks in your bowel if it's whole. If it's loose bowel, you'll see flukes, uh, and they kind of sometimes look like um, tomatoes, like little bitty uh, to tomato skins in your bowel, even though you didn't eat no tomatoes. That's what that, that'll look like. Or you actually see your large worm. Um, being expelled and it's gonna smell really really foul in the restroom when you have parasites because you got to keep in mind they have life cycles and they like eggs and larvae you know they go through cycles and so this is why when you get on a parasitic um, cleanse you don't want to start and stop because they're getting pissed off as they're urinating and they're secreting because you're killing them they're secreting so that they won't lose life you know so they can lay eggs and different things so they could reproduce and if you stop that cleanse, then they reproduce it and you didn't clean up all of them. So it could be worse if you start and don't finish a cleanse. So those are the ways that you can tell that you have parasites. Let me know in the comments if you want a part two for me to share with you what you need to do to eliminate these parasites.